okay students so today the lecture is about continuous and batch type culture techniques so as you have been studying uh, production of antibiotics by the process of uh, fermentation so this continuous and batch type culture techniques uh, these are actually the techniques used for the process of fermentation in which different types of uh, products uh, valuable products are being produced generated and then they are purified so we will be talking about these uh, fermentation types of techniques which are used for the growth of the microorganisms or growth of the primary metabolites or secondary metabolites so moving towards the topic so for growing cultures we use normally the fermentation technique and within the fermentation technique there are different sub techniques which are used in the process so the cultures can be grown in three classical operational modes so there are basically like three types of uh, fermentations which are carried out for the production of uh, valuable products so first one is batch mode second one is continuous mode and the third one is fat batch mode so for the past three decades there has been tremendous growth in the use of fat batch reactor in fermentation technology so you can see that uh, in the recent years the third technique of fermentation which is called uh, fat batch mode or fat batch technique so that is being used in the process of fermentation for the production of uh, valuable products now the biotechnology chemical and pharmaceutical pharmaceutical industries prefer to use the fat batch process due to certain advantages so there are like certain um, plus points for using this technique and when you are using this technique so as a result you get high yield uh, pure product and certain other advantages which we will discuss in the coming slides so <clears throat> batch and fed batch processes they are used to handle usually low volume high value products such as fermentation products including amino acids antibiotics and chemical compounds so you can see that uh, in case of uh, the batch mode and fed batch mode and techniques of the fermentation process uh, basically the we are using a low volume so it means that within the fermenter the volume uh, is low and high value products which means that uh, the product you are getting as a result of fermentation of process are uh, very important for example antibiotics chemical compounds like citric acid acetic acid amino acids you know that amino acids are very important they are given as a supplement to the people who have deficiency of certain amino acids so due to the high value of these products profitability can be improved greatly by optimization and improvements in yield and productivity so here we are talking about uh, the optimization of the process of fermentation within these uh, sub fermentation techniques so optimization in yield and productivity so yield means that uh, the percentage of the product which you are getting and productivity means that uh, how much product uh, you are producing as a result of this process so when you are optimizing the conditions like the ph the temperature the other factors which are involved or responsible for the growth of the uh, product so they are being optimized either they are being decreased or increased as per the uh, productivity details so now moving towards batch culture so in a batch operation all necessary medium components and the inoculum are added at the beginning and not during the period of fermentation so 
you have to remember that in case of uh, batch process of fermentation everything is added at the start of the process the medium concentrations are not controlled but are allowed to vary as the living cells take them up so the medium concentration means that uh, the food which you are giving or you are adding to the fermentation tank so that is not decreased or increased but at the start of the process it is being added to the fermentation tank and then as the process goes on and the microorganisms are growing so they are utilizing those ingredients and as a result the medium concentration is either decreasing or increasing depending upon the type of microorganisms which are growing and the type of the product which is being produced so the products be they intra or extracellular are harvested only at the end of the run so in case of a batch process uh, the products which are obtained either they are antibiotics or chemical compounds so either they are present inside the microorganisms or they are excreted by the microorganisms outside uh, the cells so they are only purified separated out isolated at the end of the run so when after four to six days when the run has been completed and maximum product has been produced so then the um, isolation and purification of the desired product is taking place so in case of batch, uh, batch culture basic controls for pH temperature and dissolved oxygen are applied during the course of batch culture so it means that uh, you are maintaining the pH you are maintaining the temperature as well as you are maintaining the supply of oxygen uh, during the whole process of uh, batch culture the pH dissolved oxygen and temperature are normally held constant during the course of batch reactor operation so it means that the pH is maintained for example uh, fermentation process requires a neutral pH or slightly basic pH around about like 8 or 9 so then during the whole process from start till the very end the pH will be maintained at uh, 8 to 9 so if the pH is decreasing then uh, specific uh, compounds like sodium hydroxide or any other bases uh, basic solutions they will be added to the fermentation tank so that the pH is again maintained at the specified range similarly dissolved oxygen and temperature they are also maintained so dissolved oxygen so the oxygen is added if the oxygen is consumed by the microorganism so then the oxygen will be supplied uh, as well as the temperature so if the temperature required is let's say 40 centigrade and the temperature reaches up to 50 centigrade then there are like uh, water cooling uh, jackets around the fermentation tank which are responsible for lowering the temperature so that's how like all the three parameters they are being maintained constant for the whole process the only optimization parameters are the initial medium composition so it means that uh, the food uh, which you are providing to the microorganisms for their production for their growth so that food concentration like how much carbohydrates or fats or proteins you have to provide uh, to the medium that is being set uh, and optimized at the start of the process so now moving towards continuous culture so in case of uh, continuous culture one or more feed streams containing the necessary nutrients are fed continuously while the effluent stream containing the cells products and residues is continuously removed so it means that uh, as you are adding the media as you are adding the food for the growth of the microorganism so along with that the cells products and the residues or debris which is produced that is also being removed so with the passage of time step by step you are adding food providing food to the microorganism and at the same time you are removing the product as well so 
in a continuous culture you are adding the food time by time as well as you are removing the products and other cell debris time by time so it means that you are not stopping the addition of the medium as well as you are not stopping the removal of the product during the course of the process so as a result of this a steady state is established by maintaining an equal volumetric flow rate for the feed and effluent stream so it means that uh, the amount of the food or medium which is added to the fermentation tank is equal to the amount of the product or the cell debris which are being removed so that's how um, a steady state is maintained the culture volume is kept constant and all nutrient concentration remained at constant steady state values so it means that uh, the whole volume of the fermentation tank remains constant for example it is let's say 40 liters and you are adding 10 liters of the food or medium to the fermentation tank so it becomes 50 liter and then at the same time you are removing the 10 liter product from the fermentation tank in the form of antibiotic or cell debris or residues so again uh, you are left with 40 liter of the volume of the fermentation tank so that is how during the course of the continuous culture technique the volume is maintained is maintained at a specific uh, rate so that's how you are establishing the steady state uh, equilibrium so continuous batch operations are common in chemical industries with the exception of single cell protein production, certain beer production and municipal waste treatment processes, continuous cultures have not been adopted widely by industry. So here you can see that uh, like uh, uh, in most of the cases, the continuous culture technique is not used in the industries like in the pharmaceutical industry or in the chemical industry, but uh, basically only in single cell protein production and in the production of beer this technique is being used uh, as well as the uh, waste treatment processes uh, it is not dominant mode of industrial operation primarily because of the difficulty in maintaining sterility free of contamination by other organisms and protection against protection against which attacks so it means that when you are in the case of continuous culture when you are adding uh, the food or media into the fermentation tank and at the same time you are removing the product from the fermentation tank so there is a possibility like big possibility that uh, the contamination may occur there will be other microorganisms which will be growing during this process because you are adding the media so it means that uh, there is a inlet open and outlet is also open so there is a big chance uh, a big pro probability that uh, contamination can occur and uh, the culture is not pure uh, phage attacks means that uh, viral attacks so viruses may enter into the fermentation tank and they may attack the bacteria or microorganisms which are responsible for producing the product so in that case uh, the continuous culture is not liked or is not preferred by the industrialists uh, for the production of certain valuable products um, often steady state operations are found to yield poorer results than dynamic operations so it means that uh, the yield the production of the product in case of uh, continuous culture is not maximum is not like at the highest level uh, in comparison to other batch mode or fed batch mode so that's why this technique is not uh, like preferred by most of the industries right move towards the fed batch culture so a fed batch culture is a semi batch operation in which the nutrients necessary for cell growth and product formation are fed either intermittently or continuously via one or more feed streams during the course of operation the culture broth is harvested yearly only at the end of the operational period either fully or partially the remainder serving as the inoculum for the next repeated drug. So the difference between continuous 
uh, culture and the fat batch culture is that in case of uh, fat batch culture you are adding the media you are adding the food uh, to the fermentation tank intermittently or continuously Inter intermittently means that after specific periods of time and continuously means that uh, like without any break but at the same time the difference between fat batch culture fat batch culture and the uh, continuous culture is that in case of fat, ba fat batch culture you are not removing the product so the culture broth is harvested harvested means that you are taking up the product and then at the end of the operational period so when the run has been completed and the maximum product has been produced so then you are removing the product and uh, either fully or partially the remainder serving as an oculum for the next repeated run so the rest which has been left inside the fermentation tank so that is serving as an oculum so it is serving as a starting culture for the next repeated run next repeated run means that you are again doing the next fat batch culture in which uh, the remaining uh, media has been utilized it is being utilized uh, for the next uh, fat batch uh, culture in which again you are adding the um, media continuously or intermittently so basically the difference between fat batch culture and the continuous culture is that in fat batch culture you are continuously adding the media intermittently or continuously but you are not taking out the product at the same time the product is taken out at the end of the run in case of fat batch culture while in case of uh, continuous culture the product is being taken out at the same time as the media is being added so this process may be repeated so that is called repeated fat batch a number of times if the cells are fully viable and productive so it means that the rest of the culture which is remained in, is in the fermentation tank so that is being taken up for the next run of the fat batch culture so there are one or more feed streams but no effluent during the course of operation so it means that you are not taking out the product during the course of the technique uh, by manipulating the feed rates the concentration of the limiting nutrients in the culture can be manipulated either to remain at constant level or to follow a predetermined optimal profile so it means that uh, when you are adding the media so you can assess the production as well at the end of the run and at uh, what uh, stages you are adding the media like after a couple of hours or after six hours so in that case you can um, identify that uh, which nutrients are solely responsible for the maximum production of the product and as a result when you can identify those nutrients those limiting nutrients which are very crucial for the production of the product so then you can add those limiting nutrients at a constant level like continuously so that uh, the maximum concentration of those nutrients is always present within the fermentation tank so that the maximum uh, product can be taken from the fat batch culture so in case of fat batch culture the culture volume reaches the maximum that is obvious because you are adding the media at a continuous rate so the culture volume will reach to the maximum finally a batch mode of operation is used to attain the final result so at the final stage a batch mode of operation means that when you stop the fat batch uh, process and then you take up uh, take out the product or from the effluent pipes from the fermentation tank and then you can uh, identify the final results that how much product you have obtained so that was uh, all about this lecture so i hope that uh, you will understand uh, this lecture and if you have uh, any problem or if you have any questions so you can ask me on whatsapp or uh, you can give me your feedback uh, 
uh, through WhatsApp um, and uh, I will upload the PowerPoint presentation of this lecture on the KCMS uh, platform and you can download it from there as well. So yeah, good luck and uh, have a nice day.